Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Civilization VI. We're continuing our Let's Play as Australia. And we're continuing pretty much right where we left off from. Which is trying to capture Leventa here. So, just gonna keep on taking shots at them. I think these guys can take another hit from... Oh wait, yeah, the city's walls are down. We don't have to worry. Excellent. So we're going to heal that guy up a little. And we're just going to continue to have our scout scoot a boot. Move in our other horsemen there. This guy, just before recording, I start a misclicked. So he's off on his own there. Anyway, choose research. Oh, can we? Yeah, we don't have iron working yet. Do we have any sources of iron nearby? Hmm, yes we do. In the middle of the bloody tundra. Um, we've got a boost for mathematics. Let's grab that. It's on the path to uh, engineering, so we'll go for that. Do we want to switch out any of our policies, I wonder? Kind of liking this so far. This... This seems alright. I mean, we're losing money, which is not great. Yeah, let's stick with that for now. So, I guess games and recreation? Maybe, let's do mysticism. Let's get that out of the way. So, anyway, we're continuing our Let's Play as Australia. The, what was the new civilization when I started this bloody thing? However, I was slow by a couple of weeks, and apparently they decided to release yet another patch, which I have not had a chance yet to uh, take a look at the patch notes, but that will be affecting the rest of this Let's Play, so... Yay? We'll see if it's a yay. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Alright. So, here's a thought, actually. How are we doing great people-wise? So, I'm using Chow's... Uh, Enhanced uh, UI mod, or whatever it's called. So anyway, I just want to take a look here. We've missed out on religion already. Big, big deal. I mean, it is a big deal. It's a victory condition, but uh, we'll save that one for uh, probably uh, either a Spain or Arabia Let's Play. Which is in uh, the pipe. It's coming in the not-too-distant future. I'm thinking maybe... I don't know. For whatever reason, I'm not really intrigued by the uh, newest civilizations that were announced. For those of you who uh, are not, uh, for those of you who have not heard, the uh, new civilizations is a combo pack of S Macedonia, which is actually where Alexander the Great was from, and Persia. So. Yeah, we've got Cyrus of uh, Persia, and we've got Alexander the Great of Macedonia. Both fairly warmongery leaders, and both ancient world leaders. I'm not feeling it for some reason. Maybe I was just hoping for Canada to come out after Australia, but... Well, I might as well hope for it to rain maple syrup, right? So, anyway. I'm thinking Scythia next time, guys. That's what I'm thinking for now. I reserve the right to mess with that and change it, especially based on uh, what we do here. We might end up going full warmonger here. Anyway, uh, we do have theology, or we won't get the boost for theology. What is theology going to give us here? Long run. Divine right, which will give us monarchy. It's the earliest form of government there. Um... Games and Recreations, I think, is what we need, because we do need civil service, we do need feudalism, and we need guilds for our Epoch station, so those are top priority. So, Games and Recreations, it is. Jakarta is what we're trying to take over, so we can't, we can't even send an envoy to them if we want to. We'll throw one down to Kasumi again. Okay, so, orders... This guy, you pull back. And right now we're just uh, doing a campus research grant, seeing if we can maybe nab 
Yeah, we really want to nab uh, Isaac Newton here, actually. It may even be worth it. What are our policies again? Yeah, this isn't the greatest. Yeah, I don't really need that right now. I think I'm actually going to go for uh, the inspiration policy and try to grab that great scientist. Just kind of lock that in there. Go all out. So that should give me five great person points altogether then. So that'll be good. And this city's under siege, so nothing's... It's not going to be able to heal up at all. And do we have a ram nearby? We do. Is it still... Yeah, it is still suicidal for our warriors and spearmen to attack, unfortunately. Okay. Mostly because of that damn knight that's in the city. But, that's fine. We'll just keep on shipping away at it painfully slowly. And hopefully that's not going to uh, be too much of a detriment elsewhere. On the bright side, though, it looks like the uh, looks like the Sumerian Empire here has gotten its military's ass kicked by the Japanese. I believe they're still at war. If not, they recently were. Our relations, yeah, they. Hmm. Japan, who are you at war with? You're at war with Elizabeth. So they were at war earlier. I guess they've pieced out now. So anyway, we've got Newcastle here. And uh, Theater Square? Do we need anything else right now? We've got a... We just deployed the uh, encampment here. Might be an idea to get that barracks up and running, but I think... I think I want to do the Theater Square, get that out right now, so... Plus two... You know what? This would actually be better without the mine, as I've been reading... Ah! Excuse me. My wife is texting me from work. So we can go ahead and delete the culture site pin now that we've dropped that down. We'll go ahead and get started on that finally. Do want to boost up our culture as much as we can because... Well, our, uh, our unique improvement is under the civics tree. So it's fairly important that we get that culture. Can we trade, switch up? No, we cannot. Okay. You guys actually pull out. You guys pull in. And you. So we got a road set up. I think I'm actually gonna rebase this one. Um, for now... You know what? I may just put this one to sleep, skip a turn here. Yeah, let's do that. And we're just gonna let this ram sit there for now. And poke around Toronto a bit more. Toronto is another uh, pretty good target as well if we want to drop a city there. Hmm. Japan's getting a little pushy. They did take Zanzibar, which I could... I can try to liberate later. Although I'm pretty sure they're Under into... The wine cliffs, battlemented crown. Pushed to a depth of more than Sabbath We peace. need to get a city right here. This is non-negotiable. We will have a city here. Because... The appeal for this is going to be off the chart. Let's see if we can uh, get the appeal lens up and running. This is not the... That is not the appeal lens. There we are. Plus five. Plus five. Plus seven. Plus four. Yeah. So, tremendous appeal from uh, the Cliffs of Dover right here. Very good spot to uh, be in. Let's move our scout into the safety of our encampment. And we'll... Fire on the Barbarian Swordsman. And for these dudes right here, we'll just 
continue to chip away at the city once more. You just stay there. And our trade route, we'll just sleep that for now. I would like to, if possible, maybe have it be based out of Jakarta. That would be, I think that would be really good. Alright, so major defeat, but only going down to half health and... It is still an effective attack at this point, if there's no real likelihood of resistance or counterattack. If they wanted to, they could take their knight out and slaughter my units, but if I don't think the AI is going to do that, because in the process of doing so, they would bring their city's defense back down to something like if I were again 30. Beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato starts with mathematics let's go ahead and get started on iron working I think that's a handy one to have although so would the uh, text that get us towards crossbow if we haven't gotten those already machinery what do we need for that iron working what a shock excellent excellent all right, so that guy's pretty much going to die, so we can take the city this turn. We just need to bombard it with everything we've got. And a decisive victory. There we go. The city is ours. And yes, we will keep the city with its wonderful commerce hub. We will wake up our trader now, and we will send it to Jakarta. And that'll be our city number four. And we'll start by repairing the monument here. What does the appeal look like in this area? That's pretty terrible. Although we might be able to... Uh, if we buy a couple of tiles, we'd be able to grab this tile right here by uh, Yosemite. And then we'd be able to put down either... Probably I want a culture square, quite honestly. Culture square would be good. Although we could also use that as a massive holy site engine as well. If we were playing for a religious victory and we we're playing as Australia, we'd be building like three... We'd be building as many cities as we can around this thing and then just putting back-to-back -back holy sites in every single one of them. Because that would, that would work wonders. Uh, I want to take a look at the settler map here. E. <laughs> that sucks. So we can settle here. But it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze with Toronto. Oh. Hello. It looks like they stole a worker from Sumeria. We can take that guy out. And I think we have a free worker. Nice. That was an unexpected pleasure. All right, let's continue on here. Sumeria doesn't hate us. They just don't really like us. And where do we want to send this guy? Probably to Melbourne. No, not that. The capital, Canterbury. Perfect. Horsemen, heal up. And worker, get out there. Probably start clearing the marshes up. Alright, and our warriors, he can move back up. Our scouts can go out. Right, we have another source of iron up here. It might be an idea to get a city down here as well. That's probably pretty high priority. Oh, by the way, our great scientist here, how are we doing? We will get them in 12 turns. Nobody else is even close. India's starting to ramp up production on great person points, but it's going to be a long ways away for them. And Japan, Sumeria, and Unmet Player are not even trying. Cool. Alright. Oh, we can queue things up. Of course we can. 
Uh, what do we want to queue up here? Can't really do much of any. E. Well, for now, we don't want to put an aqueduct in, but apparently we should because this city has no access to fresh frickin' water. Yeah, and it's maxed out on housing. That's no good. I mean, the granary's gonna fix that, but apart from that, yuck. So let's uh, go ahead and throw down an aqueduct. Well, we can only put it down here. Sure, we'll do that. It's not terrific, but I mean, on the bright side, we'll get an adjacency bonus for our uh, commercial hub. Actually, we'll get plus one gold because of it. So that's not terrible. Gee, the barbarians are taking it to Samaria. Damn. And also, Samaria has better walls here, so... That is going to make an ass any sort of assault interesting. And by interesting, I mean a massive pain in my ass. Yep, they've upgraded their walls considerably despite their complete lack of any sort of army. Move into friendly territory, you move up. Okay. Can we even get a settler by the iron? Where do we want to put him anyway? I'm thinking probably by the oasis, in the middle of this crappy desert tile. That way we'll have access to all the good stuff and we'll still have access to fresh water. I'll, I should get back here and explain that. So this desert tile will provide no yields, so there's no point in working it. I mean, we can drop out back stations on these things, and we'll get some yields out of them. And if we're really lucky, we can get the Petra and get crazy yields. But honestly, we could get some really good yields from these hills here, whether they're uh, whether they have high appeal, and we can drop. Uh, well, they don't have high appeal, and this would actually be a good spot for city. So settler. So we could drop a city here. Um. Hmm. Apparently we're missing the uh, six overlap window here. That's too bad. We'd still have it here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So we can boost... Uh, we, in theory, would be able to boost stuff with this one. Yeah, I'm thinking on the desert still a better plan because then we can get production or whatever we want out of those hills. And we're not just stuck with the city being on them. And the city will, if it's got fresh water, it'll be fine anyway. So, I don't think we get any significant boosts. We might get one hammer out of it. Alright, we're getting a tile right here. Very good. We'll get that in two turns. What do we want in Leventa here? Holy well, we site Purs looks pretty redundant at this point. The boat's kind of sailed on that. Uh, I would love a settler. I'd also like ancient walls, or oh, we can get another district. But we don't have enough to. We don't have enough to put it where I want it to go. So this would, this has good appeal and it would get an extra science, but this has breathtaking appeal, so that would be better. Theater square, that would have breathtaking. Yeah, so both of those are pretty good. Um, I think for now, since we have that extra trade route slot, let's get started on one of those. Seems like the best bet. Bring out our horsemen. 
Move our battering ram back home. Slowly move our spearmen up. And timer's gone off, and I will, uh... So I'll just go a couple more turns, and then that's uh, going to be it for this episode. India's trading with the Aztecs. Okay. So Urk looks like it could... Looks like it's starting to be a good city there. Did they found Judaism? They did indeed. Interesting. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Uh, so we can actually just almost kill that barbarian right there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab defensive tactics. We're on track for crossbows, which they actually have a 40 ranged attack strength. So we could actually take some of these outlying cities from the uh, Sumerians here. We could at least weaken them. We wouldn't be able to take Uruk, I don't think, but we'd be able to take Kish, uh, probably Bad Tibur, and definitely this godforsaken Tundra city. We'd be able to take all of those. So that is something to keep in mind. However, we're losing money still. So we need to get that other trade route up and running. Possibly need to... Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what. Need to find some way to start making money here. Because we're going to lose even more money in a few more turns. Uh, let's check our policies, guys. Uh, we could get one gold from God King, but that's not that great. Uh, probably Conscription. I think Conscription might get us what we need. Let's give that a try. We should be able to get our Great Scientist on our own, and yeah, that's going to give us, like, seven extra gold. So get us into the positive here. How are we doing for this guy? Nine more turns. And... Who has more great scientist points than me? I think it's nobody. Yeah, nobody has great, more great scientist points than me. At the moment, Australia has no great musician or great writer points. Well, it is what it is. Let's get a quarry built there. Hmm. Alright, this guy, we'll move him closer to home. We're gonna move that guy over there and we're gonna farm the grain. Keep exploring this area. We've got the diamonds, uh, so another luxury resource. This will also be good to keep the Japanese out of our territory. But we will need to get that city up ASAP. Like I'm considering getting starting to build a settler in one of these two cities. How long would it take for a settler over here in Newcastle? It would take eight turns, so that's that's a little long. Five turns in this city. But just one more turn until the stable's built, so we'll go ahead and start building Settler in the capital soon. So we'll kind of forward settle both uh, Sumeria and uh, the Japanese, and then we'll beg their forgiveness. Sounds like a plan to me. So currently at 20 culture, 31 science. So not too terrible. Melbourne, how's Melbourne doing? It's five turns until their uh, library is built. Oh, we need to get that wine connected. We should have done that a while ago. How grapes are uh, growing in the godforsaken tundra? I have no idea. Anyway. 
get that down. Oh, it didn't make the sound. That could be a glitch with the uh, UI mod. It does a few interesting things that I can't really tell if they're uh, by design or not. We should also probably get some lumber mills up in Leventa. Oh, whaling boats. We need whaling boats in Leventa. And in Jakarta here, we should really take a look at... Yeah, let's take a look in Jakarta, see what we can do to speed up production. Also take this guy out now. So Jakarta, are you optimized for maximum productionness? Pretty much. Yeah, it makes very little difference at this point. Yeah, okay. Sure that works. And while we're just waiting around, we'll probably start sending the horsemen in the general direction of the uh, barbarian camp down here to the south. And these guys, they need to go out to the whales. You guys just fortify there for a turn. Alright, so we can see from the military score here that Sumeria's started rebuilding their army. We're still better in terms of uh, military strength than them. However, we are nearly at the bottom of the heap. Although not by much. Japan does not have much more strength than we do. Interestingly enough. Yeah. That is very interesting, actually. I'm still not sure what to do with this guy. I'm kind of just like biding my time till I can get uh, guilds. But that's going to be a long ass time. <laughs> well, it'll probably be cut down a fair bit once we get uh, the relevant tech structures, civic structures up. For now, we'll move them back towards the city. What is this right here? It's a plantation, okay. Always on the eye out for uh, stuff like sheep, cows, or uh, horses when I'm playing as Australia because you can uh, get those nice boosts from outback stations like right here. We need to clear those forests at some point. But for now, that guy's moving over there. Move this guy down here. Now you guys can move out. We pretty much own this uh, part of the world right now, for the time being. We are going to have to settle a city here in the crappy, crappy tundra. Although not so crappy with the snow tiles, oddly enough, Australia really thrives in the snow tiles. And while the production wouldn't be really all that great, this would actually be a decent uh, city area. We've got a luxury resource in range, we've got lots of forests, and these uh, fish right here would provide a huge amount of food. And we'd consume one of them, we'd build a harbor, get some nice resources. It could... It could work. It may be worth the effort. I can't believe I'm talking about planning my beautiful tundra city. Ugh. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to just uh, run this for uh, one more turn here and I'll throw down a cut and then, uh, yeah, I'll save this and I will uh, see you guys next time. Hopefully get some more recording of this done tomorrow. Just one today, because I was very late to get started. Great, 
get our whales up. We got a boost for celestial navigation. Very nice. And that's Japan's new city over there. Okay. And you just sleep in there for now. All right, and that is gonna do it. And Sumeria is somehow back down to 51. I'm gonna check on that before I go. Sumeria, what have you done? Now Japan freaking loves you. And Gandhi hates my ass. <laughs> That's not new. That's fine, Gandhi. You can keep hating me. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this particular episode, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I... I'd imagine the whole world is one big machine. Machines never come with any spare parts, you know. They always come with the exact amount they need. So we've got... Uh... We got the tech for crossbows now. That's very interesting. So I think for the purposes of this episode here, we're just going to go ahead and pick up Celestial Navigation so we can get traders to... Allows traders to embark and allows the harvesting of fish. Uh-huh. Uh, did they change that? Oh, wait. No, you can harvest fish. But you can actually... Allows land units to embark. I believe the sailing tech here allows builders to embark and, of course, fishing boats. Okay. There we go. These stars here, I think these are new from uh, the uh, Civ 5, Civ 6 designers. Not so much the uh, mod here. At least I believe that's the case. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been Wybot. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, next time, we'll figure out what we're going to build in Newcastle. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.